Meanwhile, a former first deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Millicent Na, has urged banks to strategize to meet the December 2018 deadline for the recapitalization. According to him, the 400 million cities minimum capital will enable them to withstand internal and external shocks, finance big ticket transactions, and be the enablers of economic growth. Since the announcement, analysts and industry players have expressed mixed opinions, while some worry about wiping out of local players who are already in the minority when it comes to total assets. Others believe that the economy needs bigger banks, and if locals cannot match up, they have to exit. In an exclusive interview with TV3, a former first deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Melison Kojona, urged banks to strategize to meet the recapitalization deadline since it will enable them to withstand internal and external shocks, finance big ticket transactions and be the enablers of economic growth. It is important that as we go about increasing capacity in terms of financial resources, we need to work at it assiduously and ensure that we even go beyond what the central bank is asking for because the central bank is just asking for a floor. But we can go above this floor to enable us do more business, to create more job opportunities, to create um, capacity to contribute to growth in the economy. He is of the firm belief that the policy is being implemented by the central bank to strengthen and modernize the financial sector will yield expected results. Most of them do not have the financial muscle. Because, you see, when you establish a letters of credit, a letters of credit, okay, and you expect a correspondent bank to confirm this letter of credit, you must have the requisite amount in your account. And the confirming bank would have to block those funds. So if you don't have the financial muscle, you will not be able to assess your clientele who are other importing or exporting commodities. Governor of the Central Bank has indicated that five banks have met the new minimum capital requirement of 400 million Ghana cities even before the deadline.